What's up, everybody? It's Harrison here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have my reactions to the 2019 New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion. And uh, yeah, it was a really good show. New Japan always do deliver, so let's head straight into it. Opening up the show is John Moxley defeating the Young Line Shoa Umino in a. It was a decent match, but it was a short match, which was to be expected. It was Mox versus a Young Line. And of course, Moxley did pick up the victory and says he wants a spot in this year's G1 Climax. Which, um. I cannot wait. Imagine he gets put in the same block as people like Okara, Ushihi, Suzuki. These matches will be great. I cannot wait to see Moxley in the G1. Uh, he also then helped Shota Umino to the back after the match. Shingo Takagi beats uh, Kojima in what was a very good match as well. I uh, enjoyed this match. Um, two, of my all, two of my favorite wrestlers, Kojima's great. Shingo Takagi's awesome. Uh, yeah, Takagi got the win with the Pump and Bomber. And then uh, he got on the mic after the match saying he wants to he tests himself against heavyweights and uh, he wants a spot in the G1 so first two matches we find out two participants in this year's G1 John Moxley and Shingo Takagi and two people I'm looking forward to seeing in the G1 these two will tear it up uh, a part of the G1 uh, Yoshihashi then got the victory for his team he teamed with Jushin Thunder Liger against um, Suzuki Goons, uh, Zack Saber Jr. and Minoru Suzuki. It was a very, it was a good tag team match. Again, basically just uh, building between the Hashi and Saber feud and the Liger and the Liger and um, Suzuki feud. Um, yeah, Hashi did get the win with a sort of a roll up after the match. Him and Saber continued to. Uh, fight with each other before Yoshi Ashi laid out the British heavyweight champion and then he picked up the title and held it above his head and yeah so kind of building for him challenging Sabre for that title which of course is the ref Pro's title um, Hiroshi Tanahashi then picked up the victory for his team which of course was uh, him, Juice Robinson and Taguchi versus the Bullet Clubs, Taiji Ishimori, Jay White and Chase Owens. Tanashi did get the win over Chase. Again, this was kind of kind of just um building feuds between Jay White and Tanahashi, kind of just keeping that one going in a solid matchup. Tomohiro Ishii then defeated Taichi to become the new Never Open World Champion in a great match. I really did enjoy this match. Um, it's probably my favorite Taichi match. A uh, typical Never Open Way uh, matchup slash Ishii matchup, where it's just a war. Both men just throwing strikes at each other, just giving it back and forth. Um, in this really really good matchup, I enjoyed it. And yeah, Ishii is now a five-time Never Open Weight Champion, and I'm really excited to see where he goes with this reign, especially with the people who are now in New Japan, like John Moxley. Imagine Ishii versus Mox. Shingo now that he's up into heavyweights, which I talked about in my predictions. Of course, the man in the thumbnail and the man uh, on the screen in the gameplay right now, Kenta, who we'll get to in a bit. But uh, yeah. Tomohiro Ishii is uh, the new Never Open Weight Champion. Uh, Gorillas of, Def of Destiny, of course, Tang Tama, Tonga, and Tangaloa defeated Los Ingo Bernabeles, De Hippones, Evil, and Sonata. It was a good tag team match, um, like, but we've seen this match uh, a lot in the past. They're like the two main teams in the New Japan tag division. They're probably the two. I'm, str I'm struggling to think of uh, two teams that are proper, uh, another team that's a proper, well, uh, KES, Killer Elite Squad, but yeah, these are the two big teams in 
at New Japan's tag division. So we've seen this match a good few times before. So yeah, it was a solid matchup. It was great, but we've just seen it um, a good bit before. But yeah, uh, the Gorillas of Destiny did retain the titles after Tamatonga got the roll up on Evil and pulling onto his tights. Uh, this came after Jado got involved, of course, using the kendo stick, which led to Bushi running out and ended up missing Jado. But yeah, um, LIJ went for the um, magic killer, but Tama was able to counter it and roll up Evil and grab the tights to retain their tag team championships. Then uh, Katsuri Shibata comes out. And he brought out Kenta with him. I marked out one for Shibata because Shibata is awesome. I was kind of hoping he'd announce his return to in-ring, but I knew he wouldn't. But I still have hope that one day we will see the wrestler Shibata killing it in a new ring again. He's the best. Um, so yeah, uh, Shibata brought out Kenta. And Kenta was just basically saying he's here in New Japan and he wants in the G1. Which I cannot wait for. Kenta versus Moxley, as you can see in the screen, it's just one of the matches that I picked. Kenta versus Kota Ibushi. Kenta versus Naito versus Okada. Tanahashi. Ishii. Yeah. Um. Sonata. Evil. Um. I can go on and on and on. Suzuki. Kenta will be great addition to New Japan, and I cannot wait to see him in the G1. Especially against the likes who who already announced they were in it uh, on this show with Moxley and Shingo Takagi. But yeah, so Kenta is here in New Japan. Will Ospreay then defeat Dragon Lee to become the new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion in a fantastic match. Will Ospreay twice in the space of a week, stealing the show, putting on fantastic matchups. If you don't think Will Ospreay is one of the best wrestlers in the world, I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? Like, just watch his match against Shingo and watch his match against Dragon Lee. Some great spots. Uh, Dragon Lee, like, did, kind of did a plancha into a Hurricane Rana where Osprey landed on his feet. That was good. The Tope Suicida that took out Milano on commentary was great. But yeah, uh, Will Ospreay did defeat... Uh, Dragon Lee in a great matchup to become new junior heavyweight champion and then after the match went over to Kevin Kelly on the English commentary table picked up a mic and called out Robbie Eagles for a match at Southern Showdown which will be a fantastic match going off their previous matches so I cannot wait for that the two United then defeated Kota Ibushi to become the new Intercontinental Champion and again a fantastic matchup I thought Ibushi died a couple of times that German suplex on the apron oh my god how did Ibushi survive? If any other man would probably be dead or at least severely injured after like Ibushi and Naito when these two go out they always seem to like to drop each other on the head it seems uh, but yeah it was a great matchup really recommend watching it same with Osprey and Dragon Lee and Tatsuya Naito picked up the win and um, to become once again the IC champion which hopefully means my prediction of Ibushi when the G1 does come true but I'll do proper predictions like I did for best super juniors for the G1 once the full blocks are announced and then the main event uh, Kazuchika Okada pinned Y2J after countering a code breaker uh, it was a decent match it was good but I was f left a bit disappointed I felt the finish was a bit flat it just kind of came out of nowhere I, uh, I kind of wanted a bit more I was left wanting a bit more but well, I suppose that's what they're going for with the aftermath uh, when Okada, when uh, Jago attacks Okada with a chair, hits the Judas effect, and he's going to put him through a table before Tanahashi, who is on the Japanese commentary, made the save and uh, ran off Jericho and um, kind of helped Okada to the back. And it looked like they were setting up Okada or Tanahashi and Jericho in the future. Jericho got no mic saying, I'm not done with you, Okada. So, well, maybe they want us to leave wanting more between Okada and Jericho because it looks like we're getting that again at some point based on these endings and what he said on the mic. And then he kind of like uh, called out Tanahashi as well, making it seem like he's going to face the ace in New Japan. 
two matches that if we do get I'm looking forward to hopefully the Okada match is better than the one tonight is. as I said I was left wanting just a little bit more but uh, yeah that is it for this as I said at the beginning I really really enjoyed uh, Dominion New Japan always deliver even if the main event left me want more which kind of seems what they were going towards but uh, yeah smash the like button if you did enjoy let me know in the comment section below what you thought of Dominion subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one.